Hello, Capricorn. Your love weekly starts with Page of Wands, Hanged Man, Wheel of Fortune, and Temperance Energy. Some of you dealing with a Sagittarius, definitely. Hierophant for your person, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Four of Wands. All right, Capricorn, bottom of the deck, Five of Wands. So some bickering, some arguing has been going on, some strife. Um... <clears throat> All right, let's get right into how you guys see each other or how you guys come into this week. Page of Wands, the Hierophant, for you coming into the week with a new goal, right? A new inspiration. You feel really idealistic. You're very curious about a particular, uh, I'm going to say objective, right? Uh, we're going to go deeper with some clarifiers. Your person is coming in with Hierophant energy. Listen, this is a week for them to really, uh, they may be dealing with family issues, you know, they may be dealing uh, with uh, issues to do with their community. Here, Fat Energy really talks about traditionalism, right? Your culture, where you come from, uh, your grounding. And this week, the person that you're dealing with may have quite a lot of that. Um, going on in their lives. They may be dealing with a lot of family issues, right? But let's get some clarity on this because I'm curious about this uh, page of wands here. King of wands and lovers. So it could be this person. Four of pentacles, ten of pentacles, yeah. So for you, Capricorn, um, I believe that this new... This new uh, dream, goal, passion you have that you're very curious about is this connection with this individual here, right? You have lovers and king of cups. So it seems to me that there's a connection that may be here with them. I'm not sure that it's coming to fruition just yet, okay? But you have an inkling of it. You're curious about it. It's just started. And king of cups comes in for you in a sense that... <clears throat> You're willing to go for it, right? You're willing, uh, you don't care what anybody else thinks. You don't care, you know, this may be also a very non-traditional type of uh, connection. There may be a big age, you know, difference or cultural difference or, you know, you guys may be from two totally different worlds, right? It feels like this might be, uh, part of what's going on here. You're very curious about them, but you're determined and you see that there's a connection here that could happen. Now for them, yeah, I think they're kind of like a little bit nervous here, right? They're nervous about money, but they're nervous about themselves as well about this connection with you. Again, this feels like a very out of the box type of relationship, something that is unusual, Right. Um, I mean, I hate to say unusual because every relationship is very different, but this connection proves to be something very, very different for this person. And I think they're kind of like a little bit shocked, you know, they're a little bit surprised. You know, they may be surprised that they're attracted to you. They may be surprised at this beginning of a connection that's happening here, but it does, it does bring with it. On the one hand, they're kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. There may be a little bit uncertain. On the other hand, they can see that this connection with you could prove to be extremely good, stable, happy. Everything, you know, the whole shebang, the full package. And yet there's a little hesitance here and there's a little bit of worry, I'm going to say, <clears throat> about you two being such different people and so different from what each other expect or are used to in a relationship. How do you see each other? Hanged man, king of swords. Well, when you see them, you see that they're kind of stuck in one way of thinking. This is interesting. Again, I feel like you guys are brand new to each other. You're really starting to feel each other out, but you see them almost being kind of stuck in their ways or almost, you know, uh, really holding on to a particular viewpoint that is part of this issue here. Again, <clears throat> listen, this may be a relationship that is, you know, you guys may be so different for each other, uh, but Capricorn, you're, you know, you can see that your person is still kind of stuck in thinking that 
they can only be with a certain type of person or in a certain type of relationship. And you're not entirely sure if they're going to be open enough to being with you. I think that you Capricorn are the one who's a little bit more wild, a little bit more uh, edgy, a little bit more, I would say in, in the category of so different for your person, right? And they're the ones coming along. When they see you, they see King of Swords. So for them, for them, they're seeing someone who is uh, sort of disciplined. They see you as somebody who's very disciplined, but also as somebody who likes things a certain way. You know, like you are a certain way about things. You're extremely honest. You're extremely clear. You have an extreme amount of sort of uh, mental uh, resilience and strength. Uh, you don't suffer fools lightly. You have very definitive boundaries when it comes to relationships and connections. And I think that that uh, is a little bit frightening for them it's a little bit you know they're like you're you're quite powerful capricorn you're coming in as somebody who's quite powerful also quite different and they're kind of like uncertain they know they have feelings for you i'm looking ahead at this four of wands they know they have feelings for you they know something is budding here something there's a seed of something here of some kind of real connection here but it's almost as if all of the window dressing around it everything that's around it is somehow uh too it's somehow different very very different for them and and surprising so let's get into some clarity on how you guys see each other <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you're waiting for them to sort of come around to the idea that it's, you know, that this match isn't so bad. King of Knight of Cups. I was going to say King and Four of Swords. They're still deciding. Do I move towards this person? Do I move? You know, they're still unsure. They're still unsure. Knight of Cups, though, for you. Yeah, uh, you want us to move forward, right? You're, you're wanting to start to express your feelings here. You're wanting to move forward to them. You're wanting to sort of begin to let them know, hey, you know, I know you think I'm too different for you and, you know, or you, you know, I know you think of relationships a certain way, but I, I feel this and I want to, uh, let's try this. Let's try, you know, let's try something different here. They're not sure yet. They're still on the fence and they haven't given you any signs of where they're at. No cup energy here for them. You've got lovers, nine of cups. No cup energy here yet. Not yet, but we have four of wands coming up. So how do you guys see yourselves in the relationship? Well, for you, yeah, you see that in this relationship, in order for anything to really happen, there's going to have to be some luck. Because <laughs> your person is just, you know, you feel like you're going to need some luck with them. You're going to need some work. You're going to need them to sort of, things to happen the right way, right? Uh, the universe to sort of open up some opportunities for you guys to get even closer and to see, you know, that this could be a good connection. For them, Queen of Pentacles is how they see this relationship and themselves in it. Yeah, they're feeling like, uh, you know, this is something that I'm going to have to put some time into, some effort into if I care about it, right? Um. This is going to involve more than just, hey, we bumped into each other and yeah, we're kind of each other's type. Let's do this. This, this connection is going to involve and require a bit more work. But they begin to feel, they are beginning to feel, and I'm going to say, even though they haven't said anything to you, they are beginning to feel that there's some destiny here. That this is right, you know, and for you, five of cups of energy. Yeah. So there's, there feels like as you guys are coming together, as the spark has happened, there is a little bit of challenge here for some of you Capricorn, you may still be pining away for somebody else. Okay. Yes. This connection is in, you're interested. There's a curiosity here about this person. There's definitely a curiosity and a desire to have more, but at the same time, some of you Capricorns are absolutely dealing with a previous lover that is still somewhat on your mind. And it's almost as if you want this relationship to begin to move somewhere so that you can have that distraction to finally get on with your life and get over this person. So some of you are definitely harboring some heartache from a previous relationship, but your purse, your, your lover here or your possible lover coming in here, 
definitely starting to feel that there is something right here, that there's something faded or destined, or there's something very much meant to be here. And they're beginning to understand it's going to require some work. Uh, possible outcomes, temperance and four of wands. Well, for you, Capricorn, being very tempered again, controlling your emotions, not letting your emotions, you know, sweep you away because I feel as this person is pulled away, right? They haven't come in. They haven't confirmed. They haven't really made the moves you wanted them to move. So you begin to be much more stoic <clears throat> and much more reserved with your feelings and your expression, possibly of feelings. They, exactly as you begin to get into that kind of more reserved place. They have four of wands energy and they start to realize, hang on a second, this is really a love connection here. This is a strong love connection and I want it. I want this. So there's a lot of back and forth here, Capricorn. This is not a connection that has started yet. You are definitely not lovers yet. I don't think you guys may have even gone out or dated yet. I don't even think you're at that stage, but the uh, the seed has been sown and it's beginning and it just feels very much like the last reading I had for Virgo. It feels very much like a slow boil, right? This is slowly boiling, but it is definitely coming up in temperature. Knight of Swords and the shadow side. So there's some devil energy. There's some. Uh, there's some. I want to say behavior here in this person's life that may interfere with this. It could be that you're dealing with somebody who generally, you know, they're a bit of a party animal. They they may have some 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 type they may have some behaviors in a certain environment that they're in that is not conducive to like a really truly, you know, healthy monogamous committed relationship right so there's a little bit of a battle here between their wild side and their ability to go do whatever they want and this desire to be with you meanwhile nine of swords comes in for you and temperance so you are really thinking about this this connection and i think you're really sort of being very mentally aware of not getting too excited too quick not allowing yourself to fall not allowing yourself to sort of give too much over to them before they really confirm that they're willing to give back to you. A lot of gray area here, a lot of gray area because you guys are just so unsure of each other. But one thing that you are, uh, that you are sure about is that there's a connection here. There's an attraction here. And uh, it's, it's more a knowing that you guys are sort of meant to have something here. Moth and Firefly, yep. You're dealing with somebody, air energy. Again, yeah, they, alongside of this devil here, shadow side, it's somebody who really moves from one to the next, you know. Again, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who as soon as they see another shiny new coin, they run for that. You may be dealing with somebody who's very loose, a player, likes a lot of, you know, is easily distracted. <clears throat> um, and again, very sort of non-traditional here f for you and them, this connection here. Very non-traditional, and yet the connection is there, and yet the connection is strong. Firefly, also air energy, talking about inspiration, just hitting out of nowhere, and it does feel like the two of you meeting, despite the fact that you both are like, wow, I didn't, I would never thought I would be interested in somebody like this, who looks like this, is like this, acts like this, uh, comes from, you know, this background, et cetera, et cetera. Inspiration has hit, right? It's hit. The, you know, a little spark is there. The spark is there. So <clears throat> slow, slow boil here. Slow boil indeed. But more uh, you, Capricorn, very much uh, getting over a past relationship that still lingers, but also wanting more with this person Fighting your time, showing a lot of temperance, a lot of patience, while this person figures out what they want to do. 
Do they really want to be with you? Do they really want to do this? Do they want to try it? Are they brave enough? Spirit of the crystal ball, future, prediction, divination. Again, it does feel to me like this person realizes there is a, a destiny here for you two. Whether that destiny is to be together forever, or, you know, have a long-term committed relationship, or even just be together for a short term, whatever the outcome, there does feel like there's a destiny here of you guys being together at some point. Spirit of lightning, power, strength, and expression coming in. And then we have spirit of the castle, you know, rescue, fortress, imprisonment. It does feel to a degree here that your person is a little bit resonating with that spirit of the castle in the sense that they are still kind of stuck in, you know, think, thinking that... um they're, the person they want to be with has to tick certain boxes, right? Um, and you're not ticking any of those boxes. You're firmly outside of those boxes. And so, you know, this is very much about your person realizing, hang on, you know, what's important? What is important? What is important here is the connection. What is important are the feelings. And sometimes you can't control who you connect with. And if you connect with somebody that on the surface, you're like, this isn't for me, but the connection is there then it's there, right? And so at some point you have to break free out of that prison of thinking of things in a box, thinking of people and relationships in a box and, and really realizing, hang on a second, sometimes somebody comes along who's so much outside the box, but you know, you, you know you're meant to be with them. You know you're meant to have at least some kind of connection with them. And at that point, it's all about courage and being willing to get outside yourself, being willing to do something different. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. The Capricorn, this is your love weekly. If you got something out of this, re this reading, please hit the like button, maybe subscribe, leave a comment. All of those actions really help my channel. And I do appreciate when you take the time to do them. But that's it for right now, Capricorn and Capricorn cross watchers. Thank you for watching. I wish you all love, life and happiness. And I hope to see you guys next week, next Thursday for your love weekly outlook. Bye bye now.